Am I the asshole? For moving to a hotel because my wife's family insisted I sleep on the couch. My wife and I got married last summer. Her family lives across the country from us, so up until this point I had never actually visited them, but I had met them a handful of times and we've always gotten along fine. They invited us to come visit and stay with them for a few days and we took them up on the offer. We flew in yesterday, and everything went well her dad and I watched football while she caught up with her mom and sisters, and then we had a really nice dinner. But things went south at the end of the night when it was made clear that they didn't want me sharing a bed with my wife while in their home, and that they expected me to sleep on the couch. I honestly thought they were joking at first, but they insisted we sleep separately. I had a problem with the implication that I shouldn't be allowed to sleep next to my wife, and I also have a bad back and the couch did not look the least bit comfortable they don't have a guest room. After arguing back and forth for a bit, I decided to leave and book a hotel. I told my wife she didn't have to come with me, she chose to stay and I said I'd come back the next day. I went off to a Marriott about 10 meters away and got a good night's sleep, trying to not let the whole situation bother me. This morning, I called my wife asking when I should come by. She told me her parents want me to apologize for leaving the way I did. I told her that I'm willing to apologize to keep the peace, but they need to acknowledge that it wasn't appropriate to insist I can't share a bed with my own wife. She said she'd talk to them and call me back. About 10 minutes later, I hear back from her, and she tells me that not only will they not apologize for it, they are now insisting I need to come back and stay on the couch for the rest of our visit, and if I don't agree to this, I'm not welcome back in the house. I'm pretty livid at this point I told her that there's absolutely no chance that I will do that, and I am no longer willing to offer any sort of apology. My wife's sisters are now bothering me saying this is just the way their parents are, that my wife is very upset, and that I need to just give in and stay on the couch for the rest of the trip before this turns into some sort of family feud. From my perspective, I don't care what they think and I'm willing to treat the rest of this trip as a solo vacation, go sightseeing and meet my wife back at the airport at the end of the week. Am I the arsehole? Not the asshole your in-laws are abhorrent hosts. It's their house, their rules and their rules are stupid. Rather than fighting a pointless battle, you set a clear and valid boundary, and they chose to take offense to it. They want you to stay on their couch because it's a power play. You staying in a hotel takes that power away, and they can't handle it. The fact that your wife doesn't have your back on this is a giant red flag. Good luck. Not the asshole. They offered you accommodations under their conditions. You declined and didn't make a big deal out of it and got your own accommodations. They have literally nothing to be angry about. Not the asshole. Die on this hill your dignity is not up for discussion or negotiation. If that means that there will be a family feud without end, so be it. Not the asshole. You have a wife problem just as much as you have an in-law problem. She should be defending you, not deferring to them. Do not back down on this because they are blatantly disrespecting you and disrespecting your marriage. And if your wife can't support you in this, I would suggest some marriage counseling when you get home because you're her chosen family now. She needs to act like it. Not the asshole. F that noise. You are a married couple. Go sightseeing. Never visit them again. Not the asshole, this is so odd. I've heard of the weird rule parents have of keeping their kid and significant other separated under their roof even when they live together, lol. But you're married. Nata but your wife is. Not the asshole. I don't even stay at relatives families houses. If I'm visiting, I get a hotel room for my fiancé caregiver and I period. It saves a lot of issues privacy, sleeping arrangements, etc. Not the asshole. What is it with parents not allowing their grown married children to sleep with their spouses? Second post recently. Your in-laws are ours and so is your wife. Your wife should have your back, but pleasing her parents is more important. You have a wife problem. 
You shouldn't be on the couch for any reason. If I was you, I would leave and go home. Not the asshole but everyone else is. Horrible hosts. You're married so I find this situation so bizarre. Natar. Why did you marry this person who can't even stand up for you? Your wife is T.A. Her parents suck big time, too. Not the asshole and how dare they impose their lumpy couch on you when you have a bad back. That's like telling a lactose intolerant person to eat the ice cream covered pancakes, or else. Not even gonna touch their backward values because WTF. This is not how you treat a guest and they need to apologize. Your wife needs to step in. Not the asshole. They do not get to be extra childish about not treating you like an adult. Well, unless of course the dowry was so huge you really should accept living by the in-laws rules like a proper handsome but less wealthy 19th century gentleman. Not the asshole, tell your wife you're going to book your ticket home for today. Ask her if she wants you to change her ticket to go home with you or if she wants you to cancel it because she'd rather live with her parents forever. Not the asshole. You're married. You want to sleep in the same bed as your wife. Doubling down and threatening you that you won't be welcome back into their house unless you apologize and agree to sleep on the sofa for the remainder of your time there is on them, not you. X200B. Have fun. If your wife isn't willing to stand up for you, you have a problem there too. Talk to her about what happens with future visits she will likely go alone and if you have kids, they don't travel with until at least reliably potty trained, preferably later. If that doesn't work for her, reassess the relationship or her future visits. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your parents' irrational demands for control are their problem, not mine. My problem is you refusing to stand up for your marriage and spouse. We have a lot to discuss at home, probably with a therapist. Natar sisters saying that's just the way parents are is same as saying this is how you are. Personally I think it's asinine that they don't want you sharing a bed with your wife. I'm not even going to get into fact that they want you to stay on couch when you're okay with going to hotel they are obviously controlling, and if I were you, I'd make sure not to give in. Not the asshole. This is a sick game on the part of your eels. They don't want you there. Do the sisters have husbands? If so, why were they not there? Maybe they got the same cruel treatment you've received. Maybe they don't want you as a sill at all. Fucked up situation. Wait before you have kids. Not the asshole and your wife should be on your side, not her parents. This does not bode well for the future. Marriage counseling ASAP. This happened to a friend of mine shortly after her marriage 14 years ago. Mill refused to allow her and her husband to share a room. No explanation, just a flat out refusal and my house, my rules. My friend and her husband left that minute and have not stayed with Mill since. This is what your wife should have done. Do not apologize. They are bonkers, but you are not. That's the way you are, and they will have to accept it.